This is how it happened. This is how Merck's mashups die. Is that it? That might be it. What is Batman? Never. I we've been doing this for too long. I now no longer have anything to like ask about Batman. What does Batman do for fun? What does Batman do to relax? Does he ever do anything besides fighting crime and then pretending that he doesn't fight crime? Um. Hmm. You know, does he have any hobbies? Does he build ships in a bottle? Does he listen to vinyl records? Does he make his own lunch? Or does he have Alfred pack his lunch? What kind of person is he? I don't know. <laughs> I want to start... Okay, but that answers my question, though, is that the comics aren't interested in that. That's not the important stuff. I don't think, I don't think Batman has much of a social life. And well, I said... I'm not asking if he has a social life. I'm just asking, you know, like, is he a gamer? <laughs> You know, like, what does he do in his spare time? I guess he okay. doesn't have any. There's an episode but, of know. the animated series. Uh, it's the first episode that features the Riddler. It's called, If yeah. You're So Smart, Why Aren't You Rich? And it establishes huh. that um, Batman... Batman... Well, that that episode and another one yeah, called What Is Reality, also featuring the Riddler, um, establish that Batman doesn't know shit about fucking video games. Dick Grayson is the one who knows about the video games. Oh, cool! Gotcha. Bat Batman cannot so tell you about. Batman cannot tell you about the video games. Right on. But then Batman would like, you know, you could reference like old movies around him, and he might have seen them. Sure. No, you know, his parents took him to the opera when he was like eight. No, so no, no, no. no. In the like, in, in the in the comic shit. books, no, no, no. In the comic books, the they were class peoples. In the comic books, they were shot coming out of. The uh, the midnight showing of um, of uh, Mark of Zorro. Oh, cool! So they were into movies. Sweet. And you know how I know that so is Batman... because is because um, it's there's a uh, there's a storyline called uh, Batman Rip, in which um, that's R I P. Um, no, oh, like, I thought it was a story in which Batman accidentally has a huge tear in the back of his pants. No, 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 no. Um, Batman Rip. Uh, anyway, he, uh, he, this, I was telling you about the Batman of Zuren. I don't right? know if I'm disappointed in you for not laughing at that or disappointed in myself for saying it and thinking you would. I, t I was telling you about the the, ba the Batman of Zur N R, right? Where he uh, embedded like a, a, a subconscious suggestion in his mind so that even if he forgets he's Bruce Wayne, he can still be Batman. Right. That's crazy. Yeah. Um, Batman's that's, the real personality. That's the Bruce that's, Wayne is the fake That's one. the storyline this comes from. And originally, the original Batman of Zur N R was actually like during the, uh, it was either the Golden or the Silver Age where Batman went to ooh, another planet. Um, and uh, the planet was called Zur N R, so the Batman of Zur N R was a scientist from that planet who became the Batman of Zur N R. Huh? Um, How did he get the idea to become Batman? Did he meet Batman? Yes, he did meet Batman. Uh, and Zur N R was actually a planet on which um, uh, Batman had the same powers as Superman does on Earth. They were beaten up huh. pretty bad, from what I could see. Oh, Batman so like because of the fire different. Fire atmosphere on that planet he was wicked strong there like superman is on earth gotcha. yeah um so like he inspires uh this scientist and i forget his name uh to become uh the, the batman of, of his home planet um damn so he gives some other asshole the idea that the way to fight crime is to go around giving everyone skull fractures this was, uh, I think this was the Golden Age, or Silver Age, is back when comics were more idealistic. So, like, Batman was, like, a deputized yeah, member of like, the police department. Also, like, when Bat the world wasn't as fucking, like, it wasn't so clear that our society is a horrible failed experiment. 
it was at least like you know still sort of chugging along they weren't then. they weren't really big on c the concept of okay. police brutality or anything like that back then yeah, or like yeah, what Batman does being potentially corrupt and wrong. They're like, no, he's Batman. Well, you see, That's it's well, you nice. see, it's okay to beat him up because they're crazy. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, yeah, I have to go home and beat my wife. Now, now, oh my God, you asshole! I was just saying, yeah, that makes sense to me. Just like with my wife, right, Chief? Yes, exactly. Just like with your wife, Batman's got to be like that. It'll give criminals the old one too. Just so next time they'll know better. You know, like Batman's written by horrible domestic violence. Okay, well people. I couldn't find the I couldn't find the one on, on, on Miyagani, so I'm switching over to Founders. And I'm gonna see if I can find the one here. It's so difficult. Actually, like right, like, right. Even, like even I'm having a hard time and the compression's not as bad on my end. But like this fucking rain, man, I swear to god. This fucking rain, man. I mean, like, it's never going to be helpful to compression to have, like, this random pattern where, like, <laughs> every pixel is changing, like, Hold once on, in a while. I think I saw it. Is that it? No, that is not it. I was fooled. I was fooled into thinking that was the, uh, the place I need to go to. Is it? Huh. It looks like it could be. It fucking looks like it could be. I was tricked. You might say I was bamboozled. I was hoodwinked Bam -bizzity -bizzity and boozled. pranked. Pranked and ranked, roasted and toasted. Hey, it's the fourth. Let's see how much time there is until the thing happens. The end of days. Oh, are you tracking the latest doomsday prediction? Uh, no, I'm just going to has the large hadron collider destroyed the world yet. dot com. That's a thing. Yeah, I've never told you about that. I don't think you've ever brought Wait. it up, no. Has the Large Hadron Collider destroyed the world yet? Dot com. I think I will send you like a link. Like there, are, there are certain like websites that that uh, I think like 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 okay, that's that's a question that that needs to be asked. Like, uh, is DMX in jail? Well, I guess not anymore. Um, yeah, isdmxinjail.com was my favorite single service website. That's what they're called, a website that's just one page, it does one thing. It's a single service website. That uh, was my favorite then they had one, one of they all had time. One for, um, they, had the, they had one, I be. think it was like, is the ship still stuck in the Suez Canal? Oh yeah, which now, no more, but it was um, for a while. But like... I don't know. Is, is has the Large Hadron Collider destroyed the world? I don't know if this is a, thi a thing that people really need to ask. Yeah, and it's funny because I was telling my uh, my my history, not history. I was telling my uh, geology or geography. No, geology, because that one's science. I was telling my teacher about this website in like ninth grade, and he was like, "Has the what?" And then I fucking <laughs> I pulled the thing up, and he was like, "Huh." Okay, and I was like, yeah, just in case you need to know, you know, just in case you ever need to check. Like, I was playing the joke up, and he was like, you know, I I think this is cool, but I'm pretty sure there would be quicker ways to tell. <laughs> like, that was, the, that was his joke. Well, okay. That was his thing. A, there would be okay. quicker ways to tell. I guess it depends on your definition of of the world being destroyed. Like <laughs> Destroyed, like, yeah. Um... Assuming, like, we live in, like, a post-apocalyptic world where the internet st still inex inexplicably works, um, that could still, the answer could still be no, because maybe the Large Hadron Collider had nothing to do with it. Has the Large Hadron Collider destroyed the world? No. In the midst of this post-apocalypse, where everyone's dead? Well, maybe, maybe, maybe it'd be good for, like, when the apocalypse is happening, and you can check, like, I heard a huge explosion, and uh, half the planet is gone, and now the Earth has an asteroid belt around it, but uh, I wonder what the cause of that was. Let me check the website. I wonder if that was the Large Hadron Collider. Oh, no, looks like it must have been something else. So we're still good. 
But then, then do you take the, like, once the world is destroyed and it wasn't the Large Hadron Collider that did it, do you take the website down? Can the world be destroyed again? I don't know, but... Is DMX in jail .com is still up, and it's like a message about how DMX was cool, and he was a warrior, and he persevered in life. Does it still say that he's not in jail? Yeah, uh... Well, no. It says that he's dead. So it's assumed that he's not in jail. You know, they don't they don't bury you at the prison. Okay, but well, like I can't find this. And I... like a, a sappy piece of writing about him, so. Okay, well, I can't find this fucking uh, thing, so we're just going to move on. What's with all the rain? Suddenly, Penguin don't look so stupid with that umbrella. Uh, um, what else do we talk about? Oh yeah, no. Large uh, Hadron Collider. Have you seen the Have you seen the, Have you seen the Twitter account that that keeps track of uh, when Cherno of how many more days it'll be before Chernobyl is uh, habitable? Yeah, livable and safe. I have seen that. Let's check what it's at right now. Chernobyl status. It'll take Chernobyl three thousand years to be safe again. Oh God. Get updated on its progress. All right. So seven hours ago. Chernobyl is currently 1.170321620862086% safe. So 1.1% safe as of right now. Can you hear my cat complaining at me? Was there a meow in the background? There was a meow in the background. I think I may have heard it subconsciously. Well, I, I... he's here and, he, and he's meowing at me like he wants something from me. Uh, do you want to attend to his every whim and need? I think I'll pet him and then and then go back to the game because I because th hey. if 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 it was just food that he wanted, he'd be at his food bowl. Yeah. Sometimes they come to you and they meow at you though, and then they lead you to the food bowl. Uh, uh, I for, well, I'm just trying I'm trying to remember what what I actually want here. Uh, this. But dude. There's a website called theuselessweb.com that uh, cata catalogs all these uh, single-service websites, and you can just press a button. Theuselessweb.com is in itself a single-service website where there's a big button, and you press it, and it says, take me to a useless website, please. And then it takes you to one of these websites. That's how I discovered is dmxinjail.com. That's how I discovered Large Hadron Collider. That's how I discovered uh, all these websites. There's one called Barry We bury me with my money and it's just a red screen and then like this little pixel pixel like prospector old west fat dude falls down and he falls like Boo, down the screen lands and his, there's a bag of gold next to him and it says bury me with my money and then you wait like 25 seconds and then another one falls and it says bury me with my money again so there's that there's another great website called h E E E E E E E E E Y dot com. Hey dot com. And then there's another website called H O O O O O O O O dot com. Ho dot com. So when you load up hey dot com, it plays hey and then immediately starts redirecting you to ho and then ho immediately redirects you back to hey. So it's just a web page that's like opening a new page, closing itself, opening a new page, closing itself, and it's doing the it's doing the back and forth in hip hop array. So that might be my favorite one. But so that's two single service websites working in conjunction. Oh, and you know what's funny though is that my school caught on to that we were using the useless web in like ninth grade, and uh, they they started blocking them. They started blocking the websites like one by one. But then like there were so many. <laughs> anyway, so. One day I go onto the useless web and I'm just clicking on the button, just trying to find more sweet websites. And I get hey.com and it goes, hey, and then redirects to a screen that says like, your school administrator has blocked this page. <laughs> Reason <laughs> inappropriate language. Because the website name is ho. Like I couldn't believe that. Like hey is fine, but not ho.
Oh man. Oh, but the real thing I was going to go check on when I said, let me check uh, how many days until the thing, until the end of days. I meant how many days until the next Trajolian chapter. Oh. I was just saying random bullshit. The end of days didn't mean anything, but then we started talking about a Hadron Collider and single service websites. 13 days. It's the 4th right now, so on the 17th of the 18th. Man, it feels like it wasn't even that long ago, because it wasn't, really. Yeah, we're like barely over the halfway mark of the waiting. But like, you know how last month, the month before last, we were on hiatus. So last month, it felt like the chapter came out so fucking soon. <laughs> you know, I was used to 60 days of waiting and it was only 30 this time. Like, the hiatus month, you gotta remember, like, it sucks while you're in it. But then as soon as you get out of it, like, you get that chapter. And then the next one's gonna feel like it came sooner than usual. Because you're now used to waiting two months. Anyway, it's got some hidden advantages. Hey, do you hear that? What's that? My cat's meowing at me too now. Oh, I didn't hear. No, oh, he's going meow, meow, meow. Meow. Why does your cat sound like Mr. Plinkett? <laughs> I'm meowing at him so he can meow back. He likes oh. talking. Uh, cause he is. He's, he's a big... He's a fat dude, he's That's got diabetes, he's got health problems, it's hard for him to stand up. <laughs> he, he, he loves Harry Anderson in Night Court. Have you seen the video? It's not in any half in the bag. It's a video just on the Red Letter Media channel, and it's called R.I.P. Harry Anderson. And it's just... It's just Rich Evans dressed as Plinkett, clutching his Night Court tape, sitting in the rocker chair, just sort of like rocking back and forth and crying. Because the judge from Night Court died. Harry Anderson, you know. Alright, let's deal with this guy. Whoop! Are you playing... Are you using your keyboard? I am not. Okay, cool. Why, did you see a keyboard key? No. I just, you know, some games, whatever. I just, you were like, all right, let's get this guy. And then you punched him a thousand times, and I heard, like, keyboard clickies. No, I that, guess is, I was wrong. that is the sound of my, um... Oh, God. Those are the controller clickies. Those are controller clickies. Indeed. It's safe to reconnect the servers. Control console is on the top floor. I think there's a riddle in here somewhere. Uh... Unless I got it earlier. I might have gotten it earlier. Is Batman... God damn it. This the... I'm trying to think of conversation to have about Bat. Oh, that is low res as fuck. Oh yeah. They did not... Even worse for me. They did not intend for you to zoom in on this. Which is ironic you because do? it's a Riddler solution. Huh. Man. All right, let's use that computer. Let's use the computer. It's got video games on it. Excellent. My screen is frozen. Oh, never mind. There it is. Oh, cool. Yeah, mine was too. Oh, okay. Game lagged up. Oracle, the clock tower is secure. Oh, hey. Great. There you are with your fucking Dark Souls 2 ass hair. We lost a couple of servers. It's gonna take a while to restore all my data, but I should She's got a good looking face though. Back here. Yeah. In the meantime, Very detailed. I'm over to the Lady of Gotham. That reporter guy Jack Ryder went over there to follow up on a sweet band-aid on the chin there. To stop him, but Ryder just started shouting about freedom of press. Because the thing is so glitchy, I didn't actually notice she had a band-aid on her chin. I just thought her skin was weird until just now. Yay, we finally unlocked our final uh most wanted mission. And this one we can do oh, real man, quick. I was... You were wondering Amazing. about that. And also I remembered something. 
So we're wondering about that uh, about that um, that area up here where it was blank for a long time, right? Oh is that, yeah. Is that what you were about to say? Uh, no, but we flew past that earlier, and I did see it again. I was like, "Yeah, what's the fucking Statue of Liberty uh, platform for?" Well, actually, the 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 platform is for where you um, fight Azrael the last time. Oh, yeah, I guess so. So then, what are you? What's the? What are we doing? It was empty. Oh, you mean on the mission select wheel? Yeah. Right on. Okay, I get you. All right, let's uh, let's go save Jack Ryder. I don't even know who that is, but let's do it. He's a reporter. I remembered earlier I was going to say something. So, how many of these games take place in a situation where uh, like everything's fucked and the city's turned upside down, you know, and there's like criminals roving the streets? It's like this atmosphere. How many of them are like this? Are there any where it's just like normal city mostly? Okay, so Arkham City, the first uh, open world one, uh, takes place in a walled off section of the city that's meant to serve as a prison after uh, the original uh -huh. Arkham Asylum gets trashed. Um, uh -huh. So it's kind of this same deal, but it's okay because it's behind the city walls. Um, Arkham Origins has the same, like, city in chaos, but, uh, there's a curfew on, so there's no, like, citizens in the streets. Mm. It's all, um, it's all either cops or, uh, criminals. Mm. Um, but no, there's no, uh, there's no ones where you, where you operate in, uh, an actual, like, Gotham that is inhabited. Yeah, so to speak. That's kind of what I feel like. Not like is missing, but but that would be cool, you know. Like have a sense of the civilians you're protecting here, because at the moment it's sort of just ten thousand militia dudes, and then like eighty cops and fire well, the, fighters. The city was evacuated at the beginning of the game. Remember. Yeah, true, but that's just because they didn't want to animate and plan around all those people, you know? It's like they write into the story in every game some reason that they don't have to put it in a real Gotham City, you know? It's perfectly fine for Batman to run over criminals in the Batmobile, but civilians? I don't know. Yeah, that's why they never make a Superman game, because you would immediately just start, like, heat-visioning all the cars and blowing everything up and fucking killing civilians. That's literally why they won't make a Superman game, because people won't act like Superman in it. Alright, let's go beat up a priest. Let's do it. What is he, fucking preaching in a basketball court? Batman, is that you? Get me out of here. This is sacred ground, heathen. You do not belong here. But God has sent you so that I may bathe in your blood, too. My children, the devil... Okay, whatever you say. Clad in blood. Okay. Slay him where he stands. Quickly, the time of sacrifice... This guy's like me. Father Grigori from Half-Life 2. Oh, so yeah. Wouldn't it be cool if there was a game where you just fucking... I do have a time limit, by the way. Batman, so. but like... We do what? I do have a time limit, by the way. If, oh, I don't know yeah. if you see that. So I, do, I, I'm, yeah. I'm going to be concentrating on the combat. Right. But man, I don't know what to say if, if not that. That was the thing I was excited about saying. Oh, say what you were going to say. I, the the time limit's pretty generous. I have a bag of Japanese potato chips on my desk. And that sentence alone seems like a great thing. <sighs> and if you just stop the sentence right there, it seems like a good thing. I have a bag of Japanese potato chips on my desk. It seems like positive thing, right? Then you get the next sentence, and they've been there for six months, and they're oh. no longer appealing. It's no longer a good thing. 
face, Batman. I. God, I know the truth. Like, I ate now most of them. The blade, and then I, like, and watch me clipped the bag shut talent. with, like, a little bag clip to save the rest for later. And they've been there since, like, Christmas. Like, I should have thrown them out long ago. This is the shortest, most wanted mission in the game. Because, like, unlike the other ones where it's like, you know, go stop three bank robberies, or go put out three fires, or, um... Fucking go dismantle a shitload of fucking uh, watchtowers and uh, checkpoints and all this other stuff and go collect hundreds of Riddler trophies. This one's just like, no, just go to this one area, beat up a million dudes and take down this other dude. Yeah, one and done. Efficient, swift justice. Basically what I'm saying is Deacon Blackfire is a bitch. Look around you, Batman. He's a bitch. Look at what you seek to protect. Gotham is fallen. Why are you still fighting? This is over. This guy reminds me I of um. Blackfire. Take him down to the cell. Our character in Disco Elysium. <laughs> you think this Blackfire? Right. Is He's like balding. He's just got a stupid I beard. Oh. Looks like he smells bad. Our character in Disco Elysium can be even more like Blackfire because, like, there's a there's a an archetype that's like cop of the apocalypse, where like you just act like a like one of those uh, end is nigh type dudes. You know the ones. Oh yeah, like you're preparing to be the road warrior. Hey, wait a second. Um. Who did he look like, though? No, you know who he actually looked like? Dario Brando. Dio's father. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, a little bit, huh? Because I was like, I was like, yeah, there's some guy who's got, like, bad teeth, and he's balding, and he's got gray hair, and, like, looks like he smells bad, and he's drinking, and he's some if, sort of villain in something. If, if Dario drew out, uh, grew out, like, some dreads, he'd be, he'd be basically Deacon Blackfire. Yeah. It's like... Dario, but the like the Vietnam War version of him, you know what I mean? Like he's wearing like a, an old tattered uniform with no shirt underneath, way too long fucking hair. He looks like he's been in the field for weeks. All right, let's go, of, uh, let's go down uh, there and the talk field, to like, uh, battle at war. Let's, he's at the field. Uh, let's go down there and, the and talk to the uh, and talk to the deacon. What do you think is harder, being in a war zone or living on the streets? Mm, I think probably the war zone. Give up, man. He ain't taking you. I would say war zone too, but then think about this. If it's a war zone, wherever you like decide to lay down and sleep, like that's yours, bro. There's nobody who's going to come around and be like, hey, get out of there. Somebody owns that because it's rubble now. At least, you know. It's not like when you're a homeless person in the city, you fucking lay down on a bench, you fucking cops wake you up. Yeah, but you're also later, a lot hey, less like you're here, also buddy. a lot less likely to get shot in the head uh, if you're homeless, as opposed to like. Being think in about a this: war there's zone. so many perfectly good weapons and supplies lying around from all those dead people in the war zone. Like, if you're a, a scavenger type homeless person, you're gonna have a fucking absolute field day. Much easier than finding free shit in the city. Where there's not just like dead people laying around to steal from. Oh hey, uh, this this place is starting to look uh, is starting to look pretty nice. Mm -hmm. Got all these ev evidence displays. Official knife and prayer book, owned by Deacon Blackfire. This high priest of Crazy Town tried to kill reporter Jack Ryder. Just another religious nut complaining about media bias, I guess. 